Traditionally, field artillery main role has to be supplied suppressive fire with high explosive projectiles as well as having a smoke and an illuminating capability. Today, there's a move to more precision effect. And one of the most recent developments is to precision guiding kits, which you can see here. Several years ago, there was a competition between the now Orbital ADK and BA Systems, and following a competitive shoot-off, Orbital ADK won the competition. And if you could just bring it up, you, you had the shoot-off, um, you won the competition, you did some trials, and now I think you're moving into production. Yes, uh, we are nearing full rate uh, material production uh, with a decision coming from the Army at the end of this year. Uh, and we have been through four uh, very successful lot access uh, test firings. Uh, the CEPs have been very, very good, uh, much exceeding what the requirements originally were laid down. Uh, and we are on path uh, to complete low rate inter, uh, initial production and move into full rate production in 2016. So really, also, you've got your first exports. I think, is Canada and Australia have also won? Yes, we continue to work uh, very closely with the United States Army and with our coalition partners uh, for international sales to bring this capability to many other uh, countries. Right now, we are working primarily with Australia and Canada, but we have several other countries that are moving forward with their foreign military sales cases. And U.S. Army still use the 777 and M109A6, which are 39 cal. But you also fired it with a 52 cal PZH2000, for example. Yes, we are currently uh, working through our Army partners as well as with our uh, uh, international partners to demonstrate PGK on many different howitzer uh, applications, uh, both in terms of tube length as well as a uh, weapon system. Uh, this is important as we uh, try to expand PGK's opportunities for forces that were not uh, equipped, as you said, with the M777 or M196 Paladin, the way the US, the US Army forces are. So, I mean, there is a move towards which is, and I think the, the, your ATK one is the first one to be fielded as such, so you've got a market lead at the moment. You want to try and keep that market lead in the future. Yes, uh, we are fortunate uh, in having the lead right now. This is a tremendously uh, capable uh, munition uh, that is also extremely affordable and has room for tremendous growth uh, for adding additional technologies as we see the evolving threat um, developing when it comes to GPS denied and GPS degraded environments. This uh, technology has the ability to grow with those threats while still maintaining a relatively affordable price. Because in the field artillery, the biggest load for ammunition has always been artillery ammunition. And this enables you to reduce that flow of ammunition, so it's a big logistical saving. Yes, uh, uh, PGK is tremendously more uh, lethal uh, at the point of impact than traditional artillery. Therefore, uh, we can reduce the logistical burden by having to move less rounds to be able to get the same amount of effects on the targets that we had in the past. This allows uh, uh, forces to take uh, into account force structure savings, manpower savings, uh, as well as the ability to deploy. And uh, this really is about 10 meters sometimes? Or? Um, yes, we have, we have demonstrated it within a 10 meter CEP uh, and um, we believe that we'll be able to maintain that going forward uh, as we enter into full rate production. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. Thank you.